Hi there. Uh, in this tutorial series, we're going to be going through um, Ivy's front-end APIs. And I should say, first of all, that the name front-end might be a bit of a misnomer, um, just because front-end typically suggests um, the part of the code that a user interacts with. Um, and we're using the name slightly differently in Ivy um, because we're more using it to show a clear contrast to the backends because what we have with Ivy are um, different backend frameworks which Ivy can be using under the hood. Then we have Ivy's functional API, which is syntax, which we use in the Ivy framework, which um, fully adheres to the array API standard. And then in contrast to the backend, which is framework specific, so you can have Torch in the backend or um, TensorFlow in the back end or JAX in the back end, et cetera, we also um, have these front end functional APIs where these are also, again, framework specific. So we have a TensorFlow front end and a PyTorch front end and a, a JAX front end. And these are all front end functional APIs, but they're not really the APIs that um, we intend users to, to personally make use of. Um, this is what the IV functional API is for, so that things are fully um, framework agnostic um, and the front-end APIs serve a very important role when we're doing code transpilations because essentially the process is to extract a computation graph um, for a particular framework um, which is a fully functional graph with the nodes being functional operations and the edges being variables and then we can replace these nodes with our IV front-end functions such that we can then change the back end into another framework. So that's just quickly explaining um, the whole topic of what our front-end APIs actually are. Um, and this video, basically, um, I'll just go through a few simple examples. Obviously, they can get more complicated, um, but um, I'll start off with the concatenation functions for each of the four frameworks, one video each, and then we'll just take it from there um, and see how many more get added to the tutorial series. Um, yeah, anyway, so I just thought I'd make a quick intro video just so you know what's coming and you kind of know what the front-end APIs are. It's all explained in the docs, but I thought it wouldn't hurt to have a quick video on it as well. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.